if you want something cut and dry, become a mathematician. Mm-hmm. Spirituality is open ended, baby. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cartier. And boy, are my legs tired. That's not a name. You're just saying anything now. This is Frank. He's wearing the Irish sweater you saw yesterday if you celebrated St. Paddy's Day. He celebrated a bit too hard. Um, barely could get him out of bed before the show. <laughs> my legs are tired from doing the Irish jig. <laughs> you always got a little second yeah. part. Yeah, um, we're, we're big Irish dancers. We don't really talk about it much. We don't like to brag or anything, but I put on my curls, my red curls, <laughs> oh, and then I just get to a... You're a female Irish dancer. <laughs> well, that's the only thing I think of when I think of Irish dancers. Oh, no, 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 no. There's um, Actually, I follow um, brothers on um, Instagram, and, and they are they were very busy yesterday uh, Dancing. showcasing their talents. <laughs> Yeah, Irish dancers are boys, and they don't wear the curly wigs or okay. the embroidered dresses. You learn I, something I wish, new every day. I wish you had been in it. I wish, I wish, Irish. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, so yesterday's podcast, St. Paddy's, I, that was a blast coming down from it. It is my favorite holiday, but there will always be next year. Yeah. And it's a feast day of a saint, and every single day you can look up what is the feast day of today. That's true. There's a whole lot of saints. I guarantee mm-hmm. one falls on every day. Mm-hmm. I wonder what today's is. March 18th is Blank's feast day. Go celebrate uh, him or her. Yeah, there's a lot of saints, especially at Flagler College. The college my sister goes out goes at. You remember Avalon? Um, the mascot is the saint. No, not the mascot. Not so the it's mascot. confusing. The, the mascot f- is a lion. The mascot's a lion, <laughs> but the... The team, all the teams um, are the saints. So it's, it's the fl- supposed to correlate. <laughs> I know. But how would you make a saints mascot? <laughs> what is the, um? What, what's the New Orleans Saints mascot? I don't know. I know their emblem is that right. saint emblem. Yeah. But what is their mascot? The mascot's right here. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So it's Thursday. Thirsty Thursday. Right, Frank? No, Frank. Um, Which means only one thing walk dance time thursday roll the intro welcome back hope you're having fun cuz walk through wednesday just begun (laughs) all right it's walk through thursday you know the vibes we are going through the 23rd sum and we're almost done we are we've gone through a lot but let's finish on a high note well no let's this is today this is like the Thursday of the yeah you're right of the um sum right it's it's not quite Friday yet but we are getting there right so it is the fifth episode yes the fifth part out of six we have a playlist on our homepage yeah check them out to make it easy we got one two three and four and today it's five um so what have we gone through so far you want to run run us up to where we're at sure. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He I, was, I, I thought you were going to like, I thought, waters, well, 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 he restoreth my soul. I thought you were going to guides me wait. in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. That rod and thy staff, they comfort me. You did it way too fast. You made that all into one. I, I was thinking like you would sort of show people the, the breakup. I'll sh- do it. I was showing off. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Was that just the first one? Or? Yeah, that isn't, that's why I asked you about who makes these numbers. Yeah, who, because who cuts off what? The first one is like five words yeah. or something. Yeah. The second one was, he leadeth me, he maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. Third one was. He restoreth. Oh, he restoreth, he restoreth my, soul. my soul. Yeah, that it goes together. Okay, got it, got it. Fourth one is, he leads me in the path of righteousness for his namesake. Mm-hmm. Was that it too? Another short yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. And then last week, my favorite, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Yeah. I read it too fast. You read it too fast and I could barely read it. So. No, that's not true. We balanced out, Um, which means where are we at? 
We are at. Let's hear it. Thou has prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou has anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. My cup runneth over. I've heard that a few times. Mm-hmm. This whole the whole passage. This is a good one. This is a good week. Yeah, I feel like I I say that about every week because every so week it is. That's because each one is good. Every week it, it is good. Okay, um, you know how we do it around here. We go word for word, line by line. So let's start in the beginning. Okay. In the beginning, there was light. In the beginning, we're talking. In the beginning, there was nothing. Well, how does the Bible go? Um. In the beginning, there was. I don't know. In the beginning, God created darkness? light. In the beginning, there was darkness. I don't know. Okay, so it starts with, the Thou king, preparest a table for me. The King James Version, once again, a little, a little footnote. A little side note. Doing King James Version. So when we say, Thou hast preparest a table, it's you're just saying, God prepared you a prepare table. You prepare a table before, right. for me. Okay, so thou hast prepared a table for me, <laughs> for me in the, pre- the presence of mine enemies. Right. What does that mean? Well. Your enemies? Who are your enemies? Well, um, first, what, what's with the table? How about? Okay, so yeah, what are you being prepared a table for and when? So you're saying to God, you have prepared a table before me. And whether it's with your friends or enemies... We have to talk about what does prepare a table mean. Now, this is a table and it's completely empty. And so there's some microphones and a crow. Yeah. I meant like if you're thinking there's of, no plates. If I was a caterer and I said, I'm done. You know, they might say, I'm you're not fired. paying you. <laughs> yeah, you're fired. So um, I always think that um, I always think of it like a catering. Like, yeah, you have prepared a table before me. Um, but I could be wrong. And now think? is that is that do you think life? Oh, or like a, your path. Oh, I always <laughs> thought of it as, um, I always thought of it not so much as a um, an essential. I thought of it more as like uh, an extra. Oh, uh, like when, when you come home after a long day in the coal mines, and your wife's there with a smile, and then they're behind the tables all set up and or prepared, and there's candles. And- Why am I in a coal mine? I always just think of it as anybody in any situation getting um a spread a celebratory a spread, spread you know, a solid like, spread you know yesterday like a charcuterie board yeah yesterday for saint patrick's day you know there was just all of these there was lamb lamb chops and there was uh, cake and there was where um, was this <laughs> you weren't home <laughs> <laughs> you prepared a table before me and even in the bible you know lots of times they're talking about preparing these feasts these wedding feasts um so that's what I, what I'm saying is that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm here. I, I don't really know what to think about it. Okay. This one, I sort of like the ring to this, this verse, but, oh, but I don't really have an idea of what it means. So I'm going to, it seems like you do. It seems like you have it all squared away. No, it's, I just, it's just. So I'm following Things you. that pop in your head when you hear it. I'm following you. So, okay. So symbolically. What symbolically, is, symbolically, it seems what like. Is, what is the table? A treat. It seems like. No. What is oh, the treat? Symbolically. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, yeah. And we, we've done a charcuterie board. It's set up. It's. Gluten free. Gluten free. <laughs> everything you could want. The table is prepared for you. Oh, symbolically, I feel that it's it's the pleasures of life. It's the it's the um, rewards. It's the entertainment. I don't think of it as, okay. you know, in the beginning of the of the psalm when you're saying i shall not want and i really looked at that as basics ah, oh. okay <laughs> so in the beginning it's like i don't want it's like when someone's like uh oh, don't worry like you don't need to give me gifts yeah like, I, I'm, I'm happy what could you get your me? presence yeah. is enough and then the person ends up having thrown you a surprise party yeah and it's like you just okay so it's like earthly pleasure earthly delights yeah of just good pure things right i like that i like it a lot you prepare us a table for me Mm -hmm. huh now i mean that's that's all all well and good i'm sitting here with a smile on my face i'm like like i said i I told i told the wifey i said hey you don't need to get me anything your presence is enough and she was like okay so i go to the coal mine i come back and there's just 
everything I want. You know, right. there's this extra cheddar goldfish. There's <laughs> yeah. Coca Cola by the by the twenty four pack. Yeah. There's Haribo Happy Cola. Mm-hmm. Um, need I say more? Nutter butters. <laughs> I, I, there's everything, and I am my. I'm smiling ear to ear, yeah. as the kids say. And then, and here are your enemies, is what my wifey John tells me. <laughs> I invited your enemies yeah. to this, to and, this and, banquet. Yeah, like well, enjoy. You're in the presence of your enemy. Sit down. And that like, part doesn't make sense. Now I'm like. The Haribo Happy Cola is just slightly less sweet. Yeah. Or you're thinking like, is this a setup? Is this a setup? I start getting a little nervous. I'm yeah. like, should I eat that those Doritos? Or did my enemies sprinkle a little? Okay. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> so again, I don't, nope, I don't know what it means. Nobody knows what it means. David has died at this point. We can't nope. ask. David, David is forever. Well, he's left this earth. Yes. He lives in a different um, realm. And we can't ask him. And if any pastor tells you that they know exactly what it means, no, they do not. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm positive. Like people have ideas. Everyone has ideas and you can learn from them and you can maybe agree with them. Yeah. But my, I just want to, every once in a while, tell Put you that if someone tells you this is what it means. And they're full of baloney. They're, they're full telling of you what Doritos. they got from it and what they got from it might not be what you get from All it. All right. So what are we getting from it? Okay. So when I hear it... Um, I already told you that I think of it as he has prepared a table before me. I got the, that. I like that. Yeah. And so I'm happy about this. In the presence of my enemies. And when I read that, um, I don't think of people. I don't think of, you know, guys like this standing there with their arms crossed and um, they hate me and I know them. Mm-hmm. We talked a couple times. It might have even been the basketball episode where I said, uh, you, we both, we all said that enemies could be your challenges in life. Mm. You know, an enemy to an enemy, let's just say an enemy and not make it a human being. An enemy, the word enemy would be something that's not ben, not beneficial to you, but not beneficial to you. An enemy would be um, something against you, something yeah. that's not going to be ch- your best cheerleader. Yeah. So when I see in the presence of my enemies, I take it again as a comfort and I don't take it like people are staring at me eating, you know my crudités i take it as even amongst people who may want to people actual people who may want you to do wrong or your own challenges or your own even disappointments in your own self that's an enemy Mm -hmm. if you're mad at yourself even even admit in the midst of that he's going to celebrate you you're going to have the feast you're going to have the banquet um because the relationship is between you and god the shepherd and the sheep and again, um, just to backtrack one second, again, for the table being prepared for you, this is the shepherd um, psalm. And lots of times, you know, you'll say your favorite story of being in the rowboat and not doing anything for yourself. Yeah. And then you go to heaven and God said, well, you could have helped yourself. This psalm is not like that. This psalm is what we talked about. I will hold your hand and walk you through the valley. Yeah. I will make sure you're safe. You can go to sleep. I will watch out. And this isn't go and till the fields, you know, and you will have um, you will have your crops. It's saying, sit down. I'll prepare a table before you. You know, so it's really I mean, it's 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 unheard of, actually, <laughs> in some churches that a God would treat a human would in this way. prepare a table. Yeah. That's, uh, that's like, you know. A servant. A servant. Yeah. So then, um, and and it's not, it's even, I guess, how about this? If we put it that way, a servant preparing a table for someone, and it's not even a, it's not even a, um, a positive environment. Mm-hmm. It's amongst people that don't even like this person, or, you know, like I said, I don't think it's about people. But what do you think? No, I liked what you said when when you said it's like, like the same exact thing that we talked about. What when did we talk about it? You just said it. Basketball. Was it no? Was oh. it basketball where where we said? Oh wait, was it basketball? Because so you rep- were like, who's the opponent? Yes, and mm-hmm. we said your internal internal struggles and internal strife. Um, I like that. And you like you said, you know, okay. Let me put it like this: what we agreed upon was if the table that you're being prepared with. Is all of the pleasures of life. Mm-hmm. The presence of your enemies is the. Ne- it could be people. 
but it it could be mental um strife and and demons that are that you're dealing with but those are, like we said are all earthly as well and right. and they bring you down they can get you into a dark place and so they're there but like you said you're being prepared a table of all these good things that even in the presence of your enemies and i think it's important to note that cuz we always talk about it we say like those those bad things like they they happen and they're challenges and stuff but well i i say this before i'm like two people can live the same day and um for one person will say it was the best day they've ever had and the other person right. will say it's the worst day right. depending on what they sure. they deal with mm-hmm. or what they focus on and so you could go into there and focus on the enemies in the room and stuff and it would be a terrible experience but if you come in from the other passages you feel protected you know you're protected and it's like those enemies will be there right whether internally or externally but the lord god spirituality is in front of you preparing a table for you right in the that's all still going on and and like you said what is being served are all of these joys and that's that's what like, that's what you're being given and it's like even in the presence of your enemies right you will be given joys right even if even if the the wolves are it, like on on the 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 what's the one what's I the know. line of when the trees when it turns trees the tree line like, the tree line <laughs> even if the woods the perimeter? even I don't if know. the woods are at the, all or the woods the wolves are all at the tree line you can go to sleep mm-hmm. i'm here don't right, worry about it right even if your enemies are in this room i'm preparing you a table right even if the enemy is your is yourself even if the enemy is yourself because aren't there times when you feel like you don't deserve yeah you don't deserve in 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 on earthly life you th- sometimes that happens that you feel like you don't deserve something that you get look at um billy eilish she just won artist of the year maybe one of, she won something at the grammys that just happened and um she just stood there the whole time i think who did she want to get it maybe megan the stallion um she just didn't feel like she deserved that she deserved it even though she was voted so anyway there's earthly times that you don't feel like you deserve something yeah. but but even spiritually if you don't feel like you deserve something, you are you are your own worst enemy. Yes. And so amongst your feelings of, I don't deserve this. God's like, mm-hmm. well, guess what? This is this party's for you. This yeah. banquet's for you. These blessings are for you. Yeah. And it's sort of, it's, it's it, it, the sort of negative thing of the enemies. If you watched our last week's podcast where we talked about the valley of the shadow of death. Mm-hmm. And we sort of spun it as like, it's not as bad. Like it, it's not oh, right. about it being a negative thing, and it, it's just about the internal, like, the internal things, and we're not in heaven and all that. And so, it's, it sort of follows this. It, it's right. not it is you are while on earth, we don't we live in an imperfect world, right? And so, you will still be provided for. Mm-hmm. Your your table will be prepared. Yes. Even in this imperfect world, right, and and it, uh, it does have a bit of opulence to it. It's not. Don't use big words around me if you're not going to explain it. Opulent, opulence. This is the definition here. There's something and now you're um, explain I learned it, to it me. from from Dry Grace, so I'm not that good. But uh, um, uh, it's not. I prepared you a sandwich. Yeah. Which hey, I'll take it. Nobody prepares me anything, so. <laughs> Here, I got you a box of raisins. Oh, I love raisins. I, I should have used that example. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, thou has prepared a table before me. Yeah, I imagine like a Hogwarts feast. You, If you need a table for starters, I mean, it's not, it, it's not, here, have, have this. Have a Snickers. Have a, have <laughs> Snickers. <laughs> That's funny. Have a pie. You know, these little, you see them in the UK. Yeah. A little pie. Anyway, so. So yeah, so I think I think that makes sense. It's it's not as literal. Wait, so maybe the Bible's not all literal? What? What? Did what? I just get here? <laughs> Is it symbolic? I don't know. But that's what we think. And maybe we'll change our mind next week. And so, we can. And we can. Cause guess what? The Bible is a living word. Living word, okay? If it was if it was cut and dry, it would be the math Bible. Yeah. If you want something cut and dry, become a mathematician. 
Mm-hmm. Spirituality is open ended, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So so now next we're up. next up. Next up. Thou has anointed. Thou has anointed my head with oil. With oil. My cup runneth over. Or is are those two different things? We can do them separate. Let's do them separate. Okay. Thou has anointed my head with oil. Now, just to piggyback off what we're going off of, this for sure feels like you're being catered. Like, like we in said. In the wrong order, you know, because God's the king. Yes. And we are. It's, it is it is a sort of makes me think of when Jesus washes the disciples' feet. Exactly. And it's like, it's just that, that show of love. Yeah. And, and it's these verses that, that get me angry when people talk about like, they, people who don't believe in God, right? Spin it as like, oh, your God did, like believes in this, and it's like you didn't read the Bible, obviously, because right. like when you when you see this, where it wouldn't even be in just if we like made a simulated world with a simulated God, it wouldn't be out of the the realm of of still not making still making them a loving God, but to the extent of hey, remember your place, right? But that's not this. This is no. literally. Preparing a table for you, yeah. anointing your head with oil, right? Which is, you know, uh, the. I said, you know, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Which is the Bible story with Jesus and the the woman anoints his head with oil, yes. and he says, "Yes, this is good." So in the Bible and in real life, even uh, you get your head anointed with oil at baptism, mm-hmm. at confirmation. Anointing of the sick is when um, you're very, very gravely ill yeah. and, and uh, a priest comes and blesses you. So it's used traditionally oil. Yeah, but but just to cut you off, um, not to cut you off. I don't know. I don't know. What's a polite thing to say? I don't know. Inter- just to interject. I don't know. Just to interject. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter. To go to just talk about that Jesus story for a second. Okay. The Back in the day, the disciples were like, whoa, whoa, lady, what are you doing? Like. Or Jesus, I don't know who he was talking to. He was like, they were like, we could sell that oil. It's expensive, and help the cause. And Jesus is like, she is. She knows the the value of the oil, and, and she's choosing to do that, and that's right, good. Right. But just to put in context, like I have olive oil in, in my cabinets right now, but in a biblical context, to be anointed with oil, right, as just an ordinary person, right, is like whoa. That's it's it's at, like it's like being like right. handed gold or something. Exactly. Yeah. At a time when you didn't go to Acme. Yeah. And grab a bottle of oil. Yeah. Oil was was um high end. Yeah. It's it's like it's like whoa. High end. It's it's, it's whoa. It's high end. <laughs> <laughs> We're in a loop. Yeah. So it's a it's an honor. It's an honor. And it's. And it's done to people of prestige. Mm-hmm. And here you're saying that the Lord is anointing your head with and oil. And you know what it is? It's empowering. Yes. Because once again, it's almost better that, that the enemies, whoever they are, internally or externally. So you're you're at your table and it's prepared. And you're like, why am I with my enemies? But then God, you know, the God anoints your head with oil. You are one of the anointed. Yes. I'm kind of at that point. I'm kind of glad my enemies are there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, stand right. up, I'm standing up like that. Yeah, and oil, uh, I feel, is a more lasting image than water. You, there's holy yeah. water, and you can get you can get blessed with holy water, but holy water evaporates and dries, yeah. and is gone. And holy oil, yeah. stays longer. And, and, and the anointed, it's like when David was ta- would talk about Saul, and it was like. He's one of the anointed. Like, it sort of sticks. And right. So that's what it's sort of saying is like, you're being anointed. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, David. Okay, David. Spitting bars line by line. And finally, last up, I'm sure you guys have heard this before, religious or not. Very popular. My cup runneth over. Mm-hmm. I've even heard overflows. But yes, my yeah. cup overflows. Our version at this my point. My cup runneth over. What's the song I'm thinking of? I don't know. I, I, it's probably 10 there's million. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot. There's one. Okay, but um, is it Drake? I don't know. Um, You'll find out later. So, would you like to speak on it? 
You go. You go. Ahead. You, you go. You go ahead. You go ahead. So my cup runner third. Let's 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 look at the whole picture. Yeah, right? it's okay. good to paint a picture. So you have been prepared this feast mm-hmm. of all these good things, and you are anointed by God, and it's like if that is not enough, the cup in which you're being poured your drink, it it's overflowing. Right. And to to no end. It's not right. oh oops. It's there there is not an amount that you can it's not temporary. Right. It it's always coming. And right. you you have more than you than you need, right. more than you can ask for. Right. And that's yeah. pretty cool. Because like when yeah. you think of like a feast, think you're gonna be you're gonna be done it and right. Oh, okay. Let me savor this drink. Yeah, and, like, and that that enough is nice though. That enough is nice, right? It, it, it's just sort of reiterating. It's like yeah. no more, another one, <laughs> another one. <laughs> yeah, because you go somewhere and this is your food and this is your drink. Yeah, and that's it. And you're grateful and it was good and and you have to have been satiated because how much do you need? Yeah, but no, that's. Like it'll be hard for you to get away from the table. The cup just keeps the cup. It, 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 <laughs> you it's can't so finish full. it. You can't finish it. You can't and finish it. It's just it really just hitting home that idea of like. So, it's not just a cup of of uh, syrup mist. So well, you're the one that was asking me earlier symbolically, what is the food? What is the table? What is you know? So what is pouring out of? What is being filled up? What is I'll what tell is, you what it is. What is overflowing? I know what it is. Hold on. Frank, listen. I know what it is, okay? <laughs> now, if you guys know me, you know I can boil the Bible down to one sentence. Now, if you know me even better, you can you know I can boil that sentence down to one word. One word. To to it's capture just, the entire word. Bible. Okay. All million zillion words into one word. And that word is love. I'm the love doctor. <laughs> is love. Love. Love is in that cup. Okay. The love is running over. The most important And if, thing. If, if the entire rest of the passage didn't already state it, that what are you preparing me a table? You're anointed. What, what is going on? You're a God. Right. And it's like, and here's a cup of love. And it's like, okay, you get this much love? No, Thank there's you. not enough love. There's not a big enough cup. Yeah, we need that music. The Holy Spirit's in it. The Holy Spirit's in it. There's not a big enough cup for that love to fit in. It's overflowing. It, it's You can't comprehend on earthly terms, earthly material of this cup. Okay, okay how much How much love is, un, is unconditional? How much? Okay, I get it. God loves us unconditionally, but how much? You can't capture the, the idea your cups runneth, runneth, runneth in over. Lean not on your own understanding. I don't know what that has to do with this. Because I say it all the time. What you just said was, you can't, com- you can't comprehend the love. <laughs> <laughs> you can't comprehend. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> you can't handle the truth. You can't comprehend the amount. You can't comprehend, you know, how far I'll go for you. Mm-hmm. You can't comprehend... How, Isn't that a Moana song? How far? Oh, I'll go. yeah. You can't comprehend <laughs> that you could tell me who all your enemies are, mm-hmm. and even if they're justified, you can. You might think that enemies, you know, boo hoo! I have enemies and I don't deserve it. You might deserve your enemies. You might have made a lot of enemies because you did a lot of bad things, and you tell God. I have all these enemies and they're yeah. justified. Mm. He's like this. Sit down. Sit down. I'm going to anoint your head. Yeah. I'm going to fill your cup. Yeah, it's actually, gonna... it even shows more of his love. Because let's say the real enemies. It's not, Um, I, I prepare you a table. I slaughter your enemies. It's it's like, it's this overarching, yeah. like, no, sit down. Like, like this, this is all love around here. Right. Even Even amongst your enemies. It's all love. Right. It's all so, gravy, So baby. you said, why did I bring up that that Bible verse? And it was because even though, you know, we're laughing and we're uh, we're, we're happy. Actually, I think we're getting happy because the Holy Spirit is, when, when we hit it, you know, it's like, that's it, that's it. But really, it's hard to believe. And also, as much as we are understanding right now, mm-hmm. we still, we still don't know the levels. Yeah. 
and the lengths yeah. uh, that we are loved. No. Yeah. You, you, it's, it's one of the, that's the indefinite thing. Like mm-hmm. you can say something, you know, God's been, or you'll, you'll live eternally in heaven. Don't start thinking about it. Cause even no. if you know it mentally, you're never going to work right. out how eternal works. And how do I say this prayer every day, multiple times a day? And how do I say it for other people? And because even though we know the truth and we reveal it and we're happy and we feel that that's the answer, you keep forgetting it. <laughs> it's always good as a reminder. Yeah. A reminder. But shoot, I think we did it again. <laughs> we you did. Know, every, every, every week I'm waiting for a week where there's a verse from the 23rd. We're stumped. <laughs> but it's yet to happen. It's a great thing. And maybe you read it and got something totally different. If so, leave it down in the comments. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's walk through Thursday, everybody. We walked through it. And next week is our, is our last week for the 23rd Psalm. So tune in for that for sure. Until then, we're going to have a Friday podcast. That's tomorrow. That's going to be fun. A meme review on Sunday. That'll be goofy. I'll be there. Frank will be there. What was your name today? Long My leg. legs hurt. My legs hurt. doing the Irish jig. <laughs> yeah. So that was it. <laughs> All right, guys. See you next day from now. (laughs) Peace.